Why aren't we training the lower leg like we train the glutes or the hamstrings or the quads? And I'm a, I, I fall victim to this. I don't train the calves as much as I should, but I'm going to because I went into the, the think tank for this presentation. Damn lower leg is just as important as the glutes because of that. At the end of the day, if your tendons produce a lot of stiffness and recoil and your muscles, soleus, can't handle that load and force, bad things happen. Which is why the weight room is very important for basketball players. Achilles tendon ruptures are classically produced by a single high load impact. Sudden or violent dorsiflexion of the ankle. Dorsiflexion is that movement right there. Okay, or this movement right here. Sudden or fast. Movements that we do every single day. What I do know is what I think we can do to prevent it based off of the research, all right? So now we know what MOI is. We know that motion is what ruptures the Achilles tendon. Downtime is the enemy of tendons. How do we improve capacity? Load. What's the diet of tendons? Load, 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 load. We got vertical and horizontal vector. Does anyone not know what that means? Vertical vector, straight up. So I can load up and down, axial, horizontal vector through the field of gravity. So forward, sideways, backwards. Those different directions of loading are very important because our sport is played in those vectors, right? Eccentrics are the lowering phase of movement. So if I'm going down on a squat or down on a single squat, that's the eccentric portion of the movement. That's the lengthening of tissue. I'm super maximally loading a single leg eccentric lengthening process, which really does amazing things for the system, mainly tendons. Heavy yielding isos. Yielding isos is another word for holds. Hold, so imagine holding a back squat for 35 seconds with a load that if you try to hold it for 40 seconds, you're gonna, you're gonna dump it that heavy. Um, calf raise holds, single leg calf raise holds, hamstring holds, Nordic hamstring holds, like all the different variability that we can think of and hold for 35 seconds is what we're talking about. Overcoming isos, that's like if I were to push against this wall as hard as I could. To somebody that doesn't know what I'm doing, they're gonna look at me crazy. But if you understand what the goal is, you understand that you're presenting so much external maximal force into the wall that the entire system is experiencing a physiological moment. When do we ever get to load something maximally in this position or this position? Think about what's experiencing through my tissue, maximal load. Usually like when you do calf raises, you do like 30. It's not a maximal load. It's a different process that happens in the nervous system and brain. But if I'm trying to lift something way heavier than I can and nothing's happening, but I'm trying, presents a totally different benefit. So overcoming ISOs are one of my favorites. So there are moments of opportunity where we can load exactly what I'm talking about, but doing really complex movement. You just have to think outside the box. You got to figure that out.